Look what I got. It's just so good. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. So, uh, what's everyone up to? Oh, right. Topic. First line. I can tell this isn't gonna go very well. This is one of my favorite books ever. Um, so, the first line here. This is great. Actually, I really, really like it. I'm actually gonna read the the first few sentences because. All right, here we go. The early summer sky was the color of cat vomit. Of course, Tally thought you'd have to feed your cat only cinnamon flavored cat food for a while to get the pinks right. The scudding clouds did look a bit fishy, rippled into scales by a high-altitude wind. As the light faded, deep blue gas of night peered through an upside-down ocean, bottomless and cold. I love this opening, and I don't really know why. Next. Will Grayson, Will Grayson. This is another awesome book. Alright, I'm going to read the first paragraph. When I was little, my dad used to tell me, Will, you can pick your friend's and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. This seemed like a reasonably astute observation to me when I was eight, but it turns out to be incorrect on a few levels. To begin with, you cannot possibly pick your friend's, or else I never would have been to Double Tiny Cooper. I just really like this opening. Last one. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, which is also, whoa. Um, Nick and Nora. Yep, uh, this is another one of my favorite books. <laughs> Actually, I really love David Levithan's writing in this. The day begins in the middle of the night. I am not paying attention to anything but the bass in my hand, the noise in my ears. Dev is screaming, Tom is flailing, and I am clockwork. I am the one who takes this thing called music and lines it up with this thing called time. I am the ticking. I am the pulsing. I am underneath every part of this moment. We don't have a drummer. Dev is thrown off his shirt and Tom is careening into feedback and I am behind him. I am the generator. I am listening and I am not listening because what I'm playing isn't something I'm thinking about. It's something I'm feeling all over. I think I like this one so much because of how much I love music and I just, I don't know, I connect it a lot with the opening of this one. So we might ask here, what do all of these have in common? I have no idea. My thoughts on openings are that they should be really good. <laughs> oh, this video is going to be horrible. I don't know. <sighs> this is not good. There are times when I listen to the moralistic words of the angel on my right shoulder rather than the wicked whispers of the demon on my left. With Kylie Wilkinson leaning across the cafeteria table, eager to hand over cash I so desperately needed, I couldn't help but smack the halo off that perfect little angel. All right, so that's that's the first two lines of my book that's on submission right now. Usually I find myself spending a lot of time agonizing over what that first line should be because I feel like it's really important. This video sucks. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm channeling Scott a little bit today. It's random comments about his videos. This book is really good. I had like a magic formula. I could just plug my idea in and it could spit out a good line. You want to know a good mad magician scientist? And while we're at it, can we please develop teleportation? Because I am getting really tired of long plane ride. I mean, I could just teleport wherever I wanted at any point in time, you know? That'd be cool.